Ukraine war, Russia launches second pre-dawn missile attack in three days. In the latest news from Ukraine, Russia has launched a series of missiles at Ukrainian cities in the second pre-dawn attack in three days. The logistics hub of Pavlorad near the central city of Dnipro was hit ahead of a much-anticipated counteroffensive by Ukraine. This strike has caused a major fire, destroyed dozens of houses, and wounded 34 people. Hours later, the air raid alert sounded across the country, with the capital Kiev among the targets. The Ukrainian army reported that they shot down 15 of the 18 cruise missiles that had been fired across the country. However, the most significant damage was in Pavlorad, a city in Ukrainian-held territory around 70 miles, 110 kilometers, from the front line. Pictures posted on social media showed a massive blaze. One resident, Ol Litvinenko, described the incident as a near-death experience as she was getting dressed to leave their house when both doors were smashed out by the explosion wave. 19 high-rise apartment blocks, 25 private houses, 6 schools and kindergartens, and 5 shops were also damaged. Vladimir Ragov, a Russian-installed official, said the strike targeted railway infrastructure and fuel depots in a message on Telegram with a thumbs-up gesture. However, Ukraine's Dnipropetrovsk military administration described it as a tragic night and morning, saying an industrial site had been hit. Recent days have seen an increase in attacks in Ukraine, with places away from the front lines being targeted. On Friday, 23 people were killed in the central city of Yumen. Ukraine says it is finishing plans for a long-awaited offensive against Russian forces, supported by Western-supplied weapons and military equipment. Russia, meanwhile, is also preparing for a Ukrainian push and has fortified its positions in occupied territory. The situation remains tense, and there have been long-standing complaints that frontline troops are not getting sufficient military equipment and suffer shortages of food and uniforms. The military leadership of Russia is also undergoing changes, with CL Gen Mikhail Mizintsev, the Russian deputy defense minister who oversaw armed forces logistics, being sacked after being appointed to the role only last September. Despite the ongoing conflict and destruction, Ukrainian officials are claiming small victories. On Monday, a Ukrainian official said the army had ousted Russian forces from some positions in Bakhmut, an eastern city that has been under siege for months. General Oleksandr Sersky, the commander of ground forces, said on Telegram that the situation remains quite difficult, but the enemy is unable to take control of the city. The situation in Ukraine remains fluid, and the world is watching to see how the conflict between Russia and Ukraine unfolds.